in this chapter, colloquially called diffusion confusion, you will learn something that no physics college that you have no strangely enough. All of us are taught statistical mechanics and some of us are taught Boltzmann theory. The key step in Boltzmann theory of statistical mechanics is so-called Stoßzahlansatz, the idea that after a collision occurs we can forget it occurred and we can just continue our analysis of subsequent collisions with no memory. And this works amazingly well. But almost no physicists realize that it's actually possible to compute diffusion tensor, diffusion constants, other transport coefficients without any statistical assumption whatsoever. And that's what we'll do here. In this chapter, we'll show you how to use periodic orbit theory to include as much of the memory of the collisions as pos as you wish or as is needed for the numerical accuracy of calculations. In other words, we'll give you a cycle expansion <coughs> in which you input relative periodic orbits that you have computed for your particular system. It could be Lorentz gas or scattering of array of uh, disks. Or it could be something as sophisticated as turbulent pipe flow or uh, plane quad flows of flow between two sheared plates where you're interested in turbulent diffusion. You're interested if you put a drop of ink in this fluid, how will turbulence spread it? It's uh, amazing, it's exact, it's simple, it's very pretty. And if you read this chapter and understand it, you'll be one of the very few people who know how to do this.